Howdy. Welcome back to Dad Porch Crazy Kitchen Lab. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to do labs that go with, uh, well, just one lab today, actually. Um, what floats in a moat. And we're going to use the ideas that we learned about with the SS buttermilk, the SS empty, and the SS ballast, okay? Um, your video that you did with the background, it had a really cool experiment you could do. Um, and I encourage you to do that in the bathtub or do it outside or whatever, but figure out, um, gather a bunch of things and see if they sink or float. Um, you'd be amazed what, what does. And we're going to learn about um, three words today, okay? Um, we are going to learn about um, water displacement, okay? We are going to learn about buoyancy, and we are going to learn about density. Those are our three words, and that was on our slide right before our lab so that you could learn about those three words, but I'm going to show you how they work, okay? So, let's get our stuff on, get your can't see glasses, and then get your, ah, get your safety glasses. This is Davenport has like the true scientist hair going, doesn't she? Okay, so your materials today are going to be some type of pitcher or jug or something um, that, that can hold water. And you wanna put it about half full, okay? You're gonna need one thing of food coloring. Now, this can be different. It can be, like I'm just using a, a whiteboard marker, but it can be a piece of tape, it can be whatever. And you're only gonna use this one time. So I wanna show you, I'm gonna drop down my camera so I can show you. I'm gonna take and get it eye level with my stuff and I want to draw a line all the way around my picture that shows where my water is, okay? Because we wanna see where our beginning water line is. That's gonna be really important, okay? And even if you use Sharpie, parents, um, here's where you'll come off. But you can, you know that duct tape that we used the other day in our experiment? You can use or if you have duct tape because homeschool is not going well, <laughs> um, you uh, you can use that duct tape to mark it off also. You just wanna make sure that you have some type of line, like I have, that shows where the water began. Um, so I chose blue to be my color, and then my, my water is gonna be green. So I'm gonna take my, my food coloring, and I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in, and let it all get mixed in. And you'll probably want to take a spoon and mix up your water, okay? So that um, it, it shows a contrast. And really, the only if you don't have food coloring, it's okay. Um, the only thing this is doing is showing a contrast because sometimes water is hard to see when it's either jumped outside of a, of a vessel or um, it's... It's changed position. So we're using two different colors on that. Now, the very last thing that you need um, is a jar. Now, I'm gonna use a mason jar, okay? Um, I have a really little mason jar. I have a great big mason jar. You can use an empty jelly jar. You can, you can use any kind of jar you want, but it has to have a lid. You have to be able to seal it up, okay? So we're gonna take some water and we're gonna fill our jar Whoa, <laughs> you're gonna wanna do this over a sink if you are not um, awesome at pouring things. <laughs> and so then you're gonna take your water and you're going to, your jar, and you're going to put your lid on really, really carefully, okay? Now I'm gonna take this back down. You know what, I'm actually gonna move my camera. Give me a minute. I'm gonna move my camera to eye level with this. Okay, yeah. So, Here's my water, okay? Here's my water, and here's my jar. So I'm gonna take my jar. Can you guys see that? There we go. I'm gonna take my jar and my water. There's Penelope. Hi, Penelope. I'm gonna take my water and my jar. And remember, this is um, this was the first one. This was the SS buttermilk. It was the jar of buttermilk that was completely full. Now, watch the water. What happened to the water? Do you see it? Do you see where our line was? Okay. Okay, so if you look at our line, my line's right here. 
What happened to my water? Water went up quite a bit, didn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this line even darker for you so you guys can see it. Here's where my line is. You see it on there? I don't know if you guys can see it on there. Um, I'm gonna use some stock tape. So my water, that's the bottom of my, look how much it went up. Hey, do you remember that word that we learned, displacement? Displacement is when something pushes water out of the way. Well, this has a side, so could it push it out of the holder? Couldn't. So the only way to push it was up. So the displacement happened, it went up, okay? All right, so let's keep that in mind. That was the SS buttermilk, okay? That was the first one that we did. Now I want you to take your jar out, okay? And I want you to pour it back in. Let me move my camera. Pour it back in, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do in our thing that we had, now look, our water line's right back down to where my duct tape is. Now remember, our next, our next boat was the um, SS empty, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to take your jar and make it totally empty. Okay, so take it here and we're gonna watch our water line. Put it in. Okay, now this is a little bit harder in the jar that I have, but does it really displace our water at all? Is this very heavy? So this is floating, okay? It's got buoyancy because of what is or isn't inside of it, okay? So now let's do one more thing, then we're gonna talk about it. So we're gonna take our water. Now think about the SS buttermilk, okay? We're gonna fill this halfway up, okay, halfway up. Let me move my camera so you guys can see, about halfway up, okay? We're gonna put this on, close it up. Okay, and there's our water again, there's Penelope looking through the water. <laughs> And so we're going to take our, our jar and we're going to put it in. Whoa. Okay. Did it displace the water some? It did. But did it displace it as, displace it as much? It kind of did. So maybe we need to switch this. Maybe we don't have enough water. Oh, out. Let's try it. Okay. Pour a little bit of water out. Let's see what happens. Now look at that. It's floating floated a little bit higher okay now this is gonna work a lot better when you have a bigger area to work in but here's what the last word I want to teach you about okay um, the density of this okay the density of this the density of the SS um, buttermilk that was totally full the SS ballast and the SS empty, the density was totally different. Now remember guys, I've talked to you about the particles. Density is the amount of particles in something. If something's empty, does it have very many particles in it? It's very hot. It doesn't. When I weigh the two, this has more density because there's more particles in it, okay? So that's what I want you to keep in mind. The reason that the water that we're looking at is displacing <laughs> differently. I'm gonna have to do this all over again, you guys. The reason that this is displacing differently is because there's different density, okay? So I hope you guys have fun playing around with this. Um, this was a little more open than a lot of our labs um, and my whole family is here. So, <laughs> I guess it's time for dinner. So I love you guys. I miss you. I'll see you soon. Ah, there's my son. Hello. Bye guys.